Hey everyone, Mako here, and I'm back with. Can you guess? Well, yes, of course, it's another unboxing video, but this time we'll be taking a look at something super cool. As you can see, he is an Android number 557, Shokudai Kibi Mitsutada, from the popular online browser game about good looking swords, Token Ranbu Online. I have already discussed a little about the game in my previous videos, so I'll just put a link to their Wikipedia page in the description box below in case there is someone who'd like to know more about the game. As for this guy, his name comes from Shokudai, which means candlestick, and Kiri, which means to cut in English. So when combined, his name is translated as candlestick cutter or candlestick slasher Mitsutada, uh, Mitsutada being the name of the master swordsmith who forged him. He got his name Shokudaikiri due to a particular incident wherein he was used to kill someone and uh, happened to cut a, a nearby candlestick at the same time. He is famous for being a sword of the great Date Masamune and as noted by a lot of players, almost everything about Shokudaikiri in the game seems to be a reference to the great warrior from his eye patch to his personality and the lines in the game. One example is how he seems to be quite obsessed about always looking your best. Um, another is when he seems to appreciate good food. Uh, he even offered to cook, actually. So yeah, there's so many interesting things about him, but uh, sadly not enough time in this video. So I'll just put links in the description box below in case you'd like to know more about him. Without further ado, let's take a look at his Nandroid version. Here is the front of his box with a window showing the Nandroid inside. He is the 557th Nandroid to be made. His name is indicated here with the logo of the Good Smile Company. Of course, he's from Orange Rouge, the brand for male figures of a Good Smile Company. And uh, the logo of Token Ranbu Online is also indicated here at the top. And here is the front one of the sides the other side so open him up in his uh, blister pack. Let's take a closer look at the figure. All token Rango Nandroids have round bases with their logo or crest and this is what Shokodaiki looks like. And of course, an extra neck joint. Shokudaikiri comes with two expressions. The one on the right is his combat expression, while the one on the left is his troubled expression, which can be used in different situations. He also comes with several pairs of arms, hands, and legs. And since Token Ranbu is a game about swords, then he also has two swords, one sheath and one unsheathed. These are alternate parts that you can use for several poses. Here is Shoko Daikiri. Um, let's uh, remove his plastic first. For the articulation of the figure, you can move his head up and down, left and right, although it's a bit limited because of his hair at the back. Arms can be moved as well from the shoulder. Just be careful of this part. 
you won't be able to move the waist, the legs on the other hand can be moved. Again, just be careful of this part here. My reaction when I first saw the blog post about Shoku Daikiri was the same as when I saw Mikazuki's. I decided then and there that I just had to pre-order him. I've always thought of him looking really cool, although I don't think I've appreciated his character design as much as I do now. Good Smile Company definitely did an excellent job with his Nendoroid. I didn't think his clothes were that detailed until I saw his Nendoroid version. The paint job is getting better and better and the details are just amazing. I also like the varied expressions they use for his face plates. I can't decide which is best because I love all of them. One thing that I've noticed, however, is that he has less accessories or alternate parts compared to the other token random androids, so the poses that you can do with him is a bit limited. Although, on the bright side, I guess this makes it easier to keep track of all the small parts, especially for people who lose them easily, like me. Um, it also took me some time to put him in some poses because the movement of his head is a bit restricted. I also had to be careful with his right shoulder. This part here, I'm always afraid I might break it, so I have to be extra careful when removing his arm. But all in all, I still think Good Smile Company certainly delivered on this one. The details on his attire is awesome and all of three expressions on his face plates are great. I'd still recommend him to those looking for something cool and dashing and yet cute at the same time. Also, I'd also love to hear your thoughts about this figure. If you have anything you want to share, let me know by commenting below. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye!